Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to my channel. I've had some questions from you guys um, asking, how do you exactly get the British accent? Like, what, what are its key features and what's a quick way to practice? And so I thought to myself, right, I've got to put this video out there. Um, look, it's impossible to kind of capture everything in one video, which is why I post four videos a week on my channel to discuss the kind of different aspects of the British accent. Uh, but I decided to make this video to, to compile kind of four steps for you to follow, four really good tips uh, to kind of help you on your way to get that British accent quickly. These are kind of uh, four redefining really features of the British accent that I've come up with for you guys. Before we get straight into that video, hit that subscribe button to stay in touch with all my kind of accent videos. The first way to sound more British is to really listen out for the A sound because British people pronounce the A differently to Americans and other accents as well. So think about the word law. We say law. However, Americans say la. Law and la. So you can really hear that difference there, can't you? Now, uh, I know like a lot, a lot of people would watch American TV shows and they will kind of uh, try and imitate what they hear but actually you kind of have to change the the way you pronounce the A if you would like to sound more British. If you think about half, half, off, ah, half, instead of half. Or you've got after and after, half. Do you hear that? Ah, after, half. And then you've got after and half. But yeah, that's my best impression of the American accent. But yeah, just kind of putting that, just basically saying that for you to hear the difference. So moving on from the A, which is a defining feature, the T is also a defining sound. Because we heavily pronounce our T in some words. For example, think about the word better. That's much better. That's much better. So you can hear I really heavily pronounce the T, better. I don't go better, I go better, better. And think about, for example, the word daughter, daughter. We don't go daughter, we say daughter. So the T is heavily pronounced. There is something called the glottal stop, if you want to find out what that is. Um, fellow British English teacher Tom and I uh, discuss what that is on my Instagram, so go check that out. We're not going to go into the glottal stop. That's also a defining kind of feature in, you find in the British accent. By the way, guys, I am speaking in received pronunciation. Um, there are lots of different British accents out there. Um, so uh, I probably should actually make a video on that soon. Uh, the different types of British accents. I'm speaking with received pronunciation. But I also kind of speak with Emily as well, which, which is multicultural London English. Um, so kind of depending on the situation, my accent does change slightly. The third tip for you guys is watching out for the R sounds, especially at the end of a word. So think about the examples which we discussed earlier. So better, it's not better. Now listen out for the R, better, better. That's the American pronunciation, better. But we would go better, better. Mother, daughter. So it just ends in an uh sound. And that uh sound is called the schwa. Now, the schwa is, uh, you're going to have to practice that sound. I've actually made a video about the schwa. So go check that out. Uh, pause this video if you need to and check that out and practice that sound because it's really, really important and is a defining feature. But you also find R uh in the middle of words too. For example, stairs instead of stairs. We don't heavily pronounce the R, we don't roll our tongue, we kind of, we just leave our tongue flat. Stairs, stairs. So try and produce that sound. Air, uh, stairs, stairs. I've got the last tip for you. The last tip is actually British people use different vocabulary to Americans. So let's just go through a few examples. So for example, instead of saying garbage, we would say rubbish. Elevator, we would say lift. Cell phone and mobile phone. 
So British people say mobile phone. So if you went up to your friend, for example, and said, oh, where's your cell phone? Or you've left your cell phone over here. They're immediately going to tell that you're not a local. They're immediately going to kind of uh, realise that you weren't, you haven't grown up here. And um, it ca whenever you use these kind of uh, words that British people don't use, it's kind of like an immediate kind of sign. Another example is pavement. Uh, but Americans would call it the sidewalk. Pavement and sidewalk. The sidewalk, actually. So notice out for the A sound and walk. We would go walk. Americans would go walk. So sidewalk. So those are my top tips to sound more British. Uh, if you would like me to kind of expand on any of the points um, that I made here in today's video, for, for example, the differences between American and British words, let me know if you want to see like a detailed video on that. And um, yeah, head over to my Instagram as well. I provide you guys with advice and uh, daily videos on there. Um, you can feel free to message me on Instagram. And yeah, let's start a conversation. I hope this video has been useful and uh, wanted to leave you with one last message and that's to love your identity. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.